The Adani Group, headquartered in Ahmedabad, India, symbolizes India's economic rise globally. Founded by Gautam Adani in 1988, the group spans energy, resources, logistics, and infrastructure. With a presence in over 70 countries, Adani is a key player in global trade. Its ventures include coal mining, port operations, and renewable energy. Adani's expansion reflects India's economic clout and strategic partnerships. Adani's renewable energy efforts align with global sustainability goals. As Adani expands globally, it reshapes industries and boosts emerging markets. In a significant development for Kenya's infrastructure, the Adani Group has signed a landmark $1.3 billion deal with the Kenyan government. This agreement includes the construction of a high-voltage power transmission line and the management of operations at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi. The deal signifies deepening economic ties between India and Kenya. The investment is expected to transform Kenya's economy, creating jobs and boosting energy security. The power line project aims to strengthen Kenya's electricity grid. Adani's involvement in JKEA's operations will modernize airport infrastructure. This partnership underscores Kenya's attractiveness for foreign direct investment. A key component of the Adani Group's investment in Kenya is the construction of a state-of-the-art power transmission line connecting Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to the national grid. This critical infrastructure project aims to address the airport's growing energy demands and ensure a stable and reliable power supply. Currently, JKIA relies heavily on diesel generators, which are costly, inefficient, and contribute to environmental pollution. The new transmission line will connect the airport to the national grid, enabling it to access cleaner and more sustainable energy sources. This transition will not only reduce JKIA's carbon footprint, but also enhance its operational efficiency and reduce energy costs. The project is expected to create numerous jobs during the construction phase, providing a boost to the local economy. Furthermore, the improved power infrastructure at JKIA will enhance its attractiveness to international airlines and boost Kenya's reputation as a regional aviation hub. The project's success will serve as a testament to the benefits of public-private partnerships in delivering critical infrastructure projects. The Adani Group's $1.3 billion deal with Kenya exemplifies the growing trend of public-private partnerships in infrastructure development. PPPs leverage the strengths of both the public and private sectors to deliver large-scale projects that would otherwise be challenging to finance or implement. Governments often lack the financial resources and technical expertise to undertake major infrastructure projects independently. Private sector partners, on the other hand, bring in capital, technology, and management expertise, enabling efficient project execution. PPPs allow governments to share project risks and responsibilities with private companies, mitigating financial burdens and ensuring project sustainability. In the context of the Adani deal, the Kenyan government benefits from the group's financial muscle and technical expertise in power transmission and airport management. Meanwhile, Adani gains access to a lucrative market and the opportunity to expand its global footprint. Section 5 Voices from Kenya, Reactions to the Adani Deal The Adani Group's investment in Kenya has elicited mixed reactions from various stakeholders within the country. The Kenyan government has welcomed the deal with open arms, touting its potential to create jobs, boost the economy, and enhance Kenya's infrastructure. Government officials have emphasized the project's alignment with Kenya's Vision 2030 Development Blueprint, which aims to transform the country into a middle-income economy. However, the deal has also faced criticism from some quarters, with concerns raised about transparency, potential job displacement, and the impact on local businesses. Some opposition politicians have questioned the terms of the agreement, demanding greater transparency and accountability. Labor unions representing aviation workers have expressed concerns about potential job losses, particularly at JKIA. They have called for guarantees from both the government and Adani Group regarding job security and fair labor practices. A Section 6. A Legacy of Investment Foreign Capital in Kenya Kenya has a long history of attracting foreign investment, dating back to the colonial era. After independence in 1963, the country adopted a mixed economy model, welcoming foreign capital while also promoting domestic investment. 
Over the decades, Kenya has received significant investments from Western countries, particularly in sectors such as agriculture, tourism, and manufacturing. In recent years, however, there has been a noticeable shift in the sources of foreign investment flowing into Kenya. China has emerged as a major investor, pouring billions of dollars into infrastructure projects such as roads, railways, and ports. India, too, has been steadily increasing its investment footprint in Kenya, focusing on sectors such as telecommunications, pharmaceuticals, and energy. The Adani Group's $1.3 billion deal with Kenya underscores the deepening economic and strategic ties between India and East Africa. Both countries share a long history of trade and cultural exchange, facilitated by their proximity along the Indian Ocean Rim. In recent years, this relationship has gained new momentum, driven by converging economic interests and shared development aspirations. India views East Africa as a crucial market for its goods and services, as well as a source of raw materials and energy resources. Kenya, on the other hand, sees India as a valuable partner in its quest for economic development and technological advancement. The Adani deal is a testament to this growing partnership, paving the way for further collaboration in areas such as infrastructure, renewable energy, and technology transfer. Section 8, Navigating Challenges, Concerns, and Considerations. While the Adani Group's investment in Kenya holds significant promise, it is essential to acknowledge and address the challenges and concerns that have been raised. Transparency and accountability are paramount to ensure that the deal benefits all stakeholders and avoids the pitfalls of crony capitalism. The Kenyan government must ensure that the terms of the agreement are fair and equitable, safeguarding the interests of Kenyan businesses and workers. Addressing concerns about potential job displacement and ensuring that local communities benefit from the project's economic spin-offs are crucial for building public trust and support. Moreover, environmental sustainability must be a top priority in the project's implementation. Adhering to stringent environmental regulations and minimizing the project's ecological footprint will be essential for ensuring long-term sustainability. Section 9. Opportunities on the Horizon – Economic Transformation Despite the challenges, the Adani Group's investment in Kenya presents significant opportunities for economic transformation and development. The Power Transmission Line project has the potential to significantly enhance Kenya's energy security, providing reliable and affordable electricity to businesses and households. This, in turn, can spur industrial growth, create jobs, and improve living standards. The modernization of JKEA's operations can enhance its efficiency, attract more international airlines, and boost tourism and trade. The project's success can serve as a catalyst for further investment in Kenya's infrastructure, unlocking the country's economic potential and propelling it towards its development goals. Section 10. A Partnership for Progress, Shared Goals and Aspirations. The Adani Group's investment in Kenya should be viewed within the broader context of South-South cooperation and the pursuit of shared development goals. Both India and Kenya are developing countries striving to overcome 